what's everybody, Dr. Z here, and welcome back to Grounded, and so today I will be showing you how to uh, um, build some things in the uh, new playground mode, where you can actually design certain things. Uh, this is currently a, a little look at the uh, currently in the making PvP map that I have, um, where you will have free roam of the entire playground, uh, but... Uh, if you want to actually have PvP, I suggest you just kind of hang out by the bases. Um, it will involve teleporters, uh, and I set up a whole spawn system. But the first thing I would like to do is I would like to show how to use uh, some certain aspects of uh, the thing. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to classify each different object um, into its own category. Um, it'll just be easiest if I stick this right here, like so. Um, There. So these things have a put down. The button uh, is, is its own thing. It's a, literally a button that you can push for a one's trigger. Uh, wait, it's right. Uh, it can be done multiple times. Same as the trigger volume here. Uh, you have the pull switch, which works the same as these different switches here. Although the biometric scanner is more of like a once and done type of thing, there is no redoing it. Uh, and I can. I don't fully understand the burgle flag much yet. Um, other than, oh, I actually don't, never mind. I know how it works. Uh, it's kind of like a thing where you just hold down the button and it works eventually. But um, yeah. The thing about this is I have set up a few intricate systems using uh, this switch gate, the switch gizmo, and the counter with condition. So, the thing about the switch gate is, uh, if you've seen any of my scrap mechanic or Marble World videos, this is literally just like those logic bits. Uh, the any is an XOR in scrap mechanic logic, uh, well, just logic in general. Uh, the all is an and, at least, is uh, like a comparison unit that pretty much is kind of like an or, or you can only have one. And then if you turn on the not, it's literally just the opposite of whatever it says. So it cannot be any of them. None of them can be on. Uh, you cannot turn all of them on. You cannot have at least one. And you cannot only have one. Um, thing about the switch gizmo, it's literally just a toggle switch. So if I wanted to turn this button into a switch, I just do that. And now we can have something happen. Let's see what we'll have happen. Uh, you know, if that happens, we'll spawn a aphid. And then we'll do that. So if I were to go into play mode and I were to push this button, an aphid? an aphid would spawn. And if I do it, it'll keep spawning in different locations. Um... Yeah, so that's those. Um, trigger volume, the minute you step into it, it works like a button. Uh, the equal to, I have actually used this in a way. Um, so that counter up there counts how many times a team's died using a specific trigger box that's at a teleporter um, that teleports you into a base, and it will go up with each time you walk through the teleporter. Um, using the comparison device, it will then change the number one by one. Um, pressure plate is literally just a switch. Um, it's literally just the same as this, flipping a switch. Um, so yeah, there's that. I then will now go ahead and show off. I'm going to do this real quick. So if I respawn, it'll send me to my main spawning hub. Um, so I'm currently in play mode on purpose. So 
You can't walk back here because there's actually a barrier box that you cannot walk through. Same for over here and over here. Um, but got some textures saying set team spawn. This is what you can do is I have different uh, text pieces behind these switches that label them. So then you know which team to go to. So you got Willow on Team Blue. I'm going to just do a demonstration. Willow on Team Red. Then I have these four different things. Uh, we're going to go to the very leftmost team teleport. Now, uh, if I look here, the numbers are still zero. But if I give up, since I flipped the switch to set Willow to Team Red. Now, there's no going back through that spawn point and I am forced to walk through this teleporter to go back in so if I walk through it broke uh, it's only supposed to go up by one it says I went up I died twice but still um, yeah and then another thing you can do is uh, the key system I have here where you can set doors to uh, require certain keys that you can place around all over the place um, so what I'll do here is I'll take the blue key. Now I can open up this door. We'll open it up that way. I'll step through this teleporter. And now I can only hit this trampoline, which you can increment the trampolines to not bounce you as much. And now you're at the enemy spawn. Um, yeah. So there's that. The way you can do the doors like that is you can see, you can set which key it is on, in here, the unlock key, and then the locked section. Default key is the letter G for the, for the uh, settings mode on everything. Uh, so, like, if I wanted to, I could change the number of this, but I don't want to change that because that's how you get into your spawn here. Um, you can also set other things, like, for instance, you can set it so then people can build buildings or not. Uh, their buildings can have integrity or not for the multi-level stuff. And then you can also uh, remove these things here with ease so then you don't have them cluttering up your space uh, you can build some impossible things like for instance say i wanted to have uh i don't know floating trophy mount oh no not that i want to have a floating button i can turn off snap mode and it float um, so yeah, you can build other things like this little bridge I built. Shouldn't be possible, um, though it is, uh, in a way. Um, but yeah, build little things like this. Got these little workbenches here for crafting stuff. Uh, you can have these ladders here float because I couldn't place them with the door there. Um, but yeah, it's, Playground's an interesting mode. I'm going to work some more on this PvP map, make stuff look nicer, build that up better more over there. I'm not completely done with this. I'm going to have like a, something a little in the center here because it's just, in my opinion, kind of empty. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's hope this was helpful for you guys, but, uh, that's all I have for you today, everybody. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.